we, uh, we're going to start off all this Friday, and um, we, we have some nagging things that are, that, are, that are keeping us from being full strength right now. I'm really excited about this group when we start out Friday. Uh, we're not going to have a Brett Pirtle who has to go home and watch his brother get married. We're not going to have a, a Woodruff just yet. Uh, we're not going to have a Ben Bracewell just yet. Um, not 100% sure if we're going to have a Kyle Hahn just yet who's been battling uh, some illness. For whatever reason, our, our entire cl club is, uh, not our entire club, but a lot of our kids are battling flu stuff during the course of the week. So um, might be a sparse group to start out the, the fall, the official part of the fall, which is a shame when you consider how hard they've worked in the last two months to, to get to the stage and the weight room and conditioning and their, their skill work. So uh, we, um, we're excited about this. I think it really gives us the opportunity to, to showcase our, our younger kids. Um, our kids are ready to play inter-squad games because they've been doing so much drill work and, and again, strength and conditioning. So this is the fun part for them. And uh, it's a little later than we're used to. And, of course, we've just got the construction on the field done, which is going to make our lives a lot easier. Um, so uh, it's, it's an exciting time for us, and our kids are ready to, to get going. When we talked a few weeks ago, you talked about gave kind of a timeline on Bracewell and Woodruff. Uh, has that changed any sense? Yeah, um, I, I think Bracewell is probably. Um, we would love to see him pitching uh, in a game situation a week into the fall, so maybe uh, a week from this coming Friday. Um, d don't know about Woodruff's situation. His bullpens have been fabulous. You know, the ball's really coming out of his hands well. I think he's, uh, you know, just done a uh, a great job. Uh, on his rehab, and I, I think he's gonna, I think he's gonna be great. I just don't know when he's gonna actually get to face the hitters when the doctors are gonna let him do that. How close y'all came last year? Did you see an even added sense of work ethic and stuff from the guys? Involved? Yeah, you know, I think it'd be hard for them to work any harder than they did a year ago. I mean, they put a lot into it, and you know, but we do have tremendous leadership on this team. You know, the Brett Pirtles, the West Rays. Um, <coughs> You know, even, uh, man, uh, some of the guys who didn't play a tremendous amount last year, so, some of those guys, you know, C.T. Bradford's been a great leader and, and really has had a great fall so far. Um, so we, we have some guys that, that we feel like are, are doing a great job leading this club, especially, you know, positionally. I think we had more, you know, older leadership guys on the, on the mound last year, and, and I think it's more of a positional player type, type leadership this year. Talk about the summer. Some guys had <clears throat> you were able to rest. Some guys too that needed to kind of take take some time off. Yeah, you know, I think uh, you know Han went out and had a great summer. Uh, Robson went out and had a, a great summer, um, uh, among others. Uh, I, I think Matthew Britton, somebody who's come back and 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 really uh, made a decision that he, he wants to play and and, and be in that that battle for a middle infield spot. And, and certainly, I think he's one of the, the, the better defenders on our team, maybe maybe one of the best defenders in, in our league when he's at his best. And he, he has really improved so much, become a more physical player. Um, he went out and, and did a great job this summer. And, and I'm just mentioning a couple. Um, so really, really proud. I, I think, um, you know, from a pitching standpoint, I, I think uh, – uh, I, we didn't send as many guys out because those guys, some of those guys, uh, needed some rest. You know, certainly a holder needed some rest. He took some time off, and, and uh, Woodruff coming off his surgery. Uh, you know, we, we did have several guys rehabbing during the course of the summer. How do you feel about catcher John, and what's the plan for those guys in the fall, just to see how they shake out and how what you can do with who and who you can do it with? It's it's going to be a battle behind the plate, and we, we feel like we have several good candidates. Um, uh, certainly, uh, you know, our, our returning guys have gotten a lot better, and, and the, the two new guys that we have in, in the fold are, are guys who are, are very, very talented. Uh, so um, we, we have a lot of competition going on behind the plate, and I think each one of those guys brings kind of something different to the table. I think, you know, Garner uh, is probably the best hitter out of that group, but he's come a long way, uh, you know, behind the plate. Uh, Randolph is a guy who is a really solid guy all the way around. No jump out at you tool, but certainly somebody who, who's a great leader and been around some great, great catchers. Uh, Collins is a young guy who uh, from Southern California who we feel like is, you know, uh, the future. You know, but how quickly can he? It's kind of like the quarterback in football. You know, how quickly can the freshman quarterback 
you know, step on in the field and, and have things not moving too quick for him. But I think he's certainly a, a contender. And, you know, he has as much upside as, as any freshman catcher I think we've had here in a long time. Cody Walker is a junior college transfer who, who can really catch and throw. Um, that's his strength, and uh, he, he brings that to the table. So I think I, I haven't counted anybody out, and it's, it's kind of exciting to see who's going to be able to, to step forward this, this fall.